Hello. Well, you know, if you're LDS, Latter Day Saint Mormon, and you um, have you live in an area where there's lots of them, or most areas, there's the church has definite plans for how a church, how the buildings are. There's the first phase, which is a certain amount of classrooms and areas, and there's a certain pattern. And then they have second phase, which is more parts that add to it and get a chapel part. And then third phase, and then a stake center, and something like that. But um, this one, look at this one. This is in Luray, uh, Luray, Virginia. This is the building. It's not, it's, it's not following the pattern at all. This is a, a Boughton building. The church never has mortgages on their buildings. Did you know that? They always, it's always paid for before construction starts. Temples too. Nobody can ever take our buildings. We don't pay interest. Isn't that cool? They're very good at that stuff. Anyway, so let's see if I can pull that in there. There we go. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You know, sometimes I see this sign and it just it just warms my heart. Sometimes when I've been places and I'm far away from anything familiar, it's like, oh, I'm home. And I can just sit there and feel like I'm home. So let's go inside and check out this little building. We can do this because my friend Esther is cleaning the chapel. The members clean the chapels. You see, we all worship Jesus Christ. He is our Savior. We love the Savior very, very much. We have a magazine that you can order. It comes every month. It's the end sign. Always has awesome articles. And the ones at the back, they have really cool back articles. You know how sometimes you start reading a book from the back? They've got always got a really good back article. And they have awesome photos too. It talks about the church in different parts of the world or different things. Some people think we're not we're not Christians because we have the Book of Mormon. But the Book of Mormon is another testimony of Jesus Christ. It's like um, Jesus Christ, after he, he was resurrected and went up in the sky and he was gone, other sheep I have which are not of this fold, and they too must hear my voice and come into the fold and I'll be their shepherd or something like that. Anyway, so he did do that in the American continent. And that is what is contained in the Book of Mormon. And because it hasn't been translated a million times by people with a different agendas, it's accurate. Just thought I'd throw all this in, just in case you're curious. If you're not curious, well, you can just not watch. So here is the spot for hanging things up. Have I been to church with you here? I don't think I've ever been to church here, Esther. This would be a primary room. Is it? No, it's got... This would be the Relief Society room. Yep, charity never faileth. That's the Relief Society motto. And charity never does fail. Those are wheat. Of course, you have to have some piano playing. Gotta be the CDs. And here is, I love this. This is the Relief Society, whatever. We are beloved spirit daughters of God, and our lives have meaning, purpose, and direction. As a worldwide sisterhood, we are united in our devotion to Jesus Christ, our Savior and Exemplar. We are women of faith, virtue, vision, and charity who increase our testimonies of Jesus Christ through prayer and scripture study, seek spiritual strength by following the promptings of the Holy Ghost, dedicate ourselves to strengthening marriages, families, and homes, find nobility in motherhood and joy in womanhood, delight in service and good works, love life and learning, 
stand for truth and righteousness, sustain the priesthood as the authority of God on earth, rejoice in the blessings of the temple, understand our divine destiny, and strive for exaltation. I love that. I memorized it when it first came out. Of course, I forgot it all now. Alrighty then. Hey, what's going on? This is a very tiny building. Whoops, can't look at her. She's she's not photogenic, she says. But we all know that's just a ploy to get you to not. And people give talks. We don't just have a minister that stands up here. See, we have... Because little tiny children come out and they get up there and they bear their testimonies and do things, say prayers and give talks. There's a microphone that goes right there. But it's probably been put away so that because there was another meeting afterwards. And this is the sacrament table. And I won't touch that because it's pretty sacred. And what's here? Welcome to primary. Primary is the children's stuff. Choose the right. Jesus loves the children. We'll miss you, Elise. She must be sick. Jesus blessed the children when he came to this continent. It was an most amazing. If you ever have a chance, it's in 3rd Nephi. Look it up in the, just Google it. Book of Mormon, 3rd Nephi, 3 N-E-P-H-I. Jesus blessing the children. It's an most amazing thing to read. This must be I know the scriptures are true. Oh, this is also for the young women. Oh, here's the Articles of Faith. Let me read them to you, since you can't read them for yourself. We believe in God, the Eternal Father, and in His Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost. We believe that men will be punished for their own sins and not for Adam's transgression. We believe that through the atonement of Christ, all mankind may be saved by obedience to the laws and ordinances of the gospel. We believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are, first, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins, fourth, laying on of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost, five, we believe that a man must be called of God by prophecy and by the laying on of hands by those who are in authority to preach the gospel and administer in the ordinances thereof, six, we believe in the same organization that existed in the primitive church, namely apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, and so forth. We believe in the gift of tongues, prophecy, revelation, visions, healing, interpretation of tongues, and so forth. We believe the Bible to be the Word of God as far as it is translated correctly. We also believe the Book of Mormon to be the Word of God. We believe all that God has revealed, all that He does now reveal, and we believe that He will yet reveal many great and important things pertaining to the Kingdom of God. We believe in the literal gathering of Israel and in the restoration of the Ten Tribes, that Zion, the New Jerusalem, will be built upon the American continent, that Christ will personally reign personally upon the earth, and that the earth will be renewed and receive its paradisical glory. We claim the privilege of worshiping Almighty God according to the dictates of our own conscience and allow all men the same privilege. Let them worship how, where, what they may. We believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, and magistrates in obeying, honoring, and sustaining the law. We believe in being honest, true, chaste, benevolent, virtuous, and in doing good to all men. Indeed, we may say that we follow the admonition of Paul. 
We believe all things, we hope all things, we have endured many things, and hope to be able to, to endure all things. If there is anything virtuous, lovely, or of good report or praiseworthy, we seek after these things. And that was given to us by Joseph Smith. Now the children, in primary, all learn these articles of faith. In order to graduate from primary, when they're 12, they have to have memorized them all. And so part of primary is making sure that the children learn these. I was primary president for a while. So it looks like Eric, whoever Eric is, has memorized all of those. Now he doesn't know the 6th and the 7th. He doesn't know the 13th yet. He's got a little bit of it, I guess. And this over here, this person knows the first four. And they that's Tyler. And they have not memorized the rest of them yet. Now that's the Smith Log Home. I think I've shown that to you. It's in Palmyra. See, there's the Palmyra Temple. That's my temple where I work. That's the Hill Camorra, which is where there's a statue that commemorates Moroni where he had he had dug a hole and buried the plates and that's where Joseph Smith had found them. And this is the home and the sacred grove is off beh behind it or it's across the road. And those were the gold plates which is where the Book of Mormon was translated from. It was a record of the people of this continent which is the Indians. Oh, oopsie. All I need to know I learned in primary. I am a child of God. I believe in Christ. Do unto others as you... Oh, these are the things they learn. I am a child of God. Believe in Christ. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Choose the right. Where love is, their God is also. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Forgive and forget. Give, oh, give. Listen to the still small voice. Count your many blessings. Do the things the Lord commands. Honor your father and mother. Dare to be true. Kindness begins with me. Families are forever. Search, ponder, and pray. Listen to the prophet's voice. Jesus said, love everyone. When you are helping, you are happy. Heavenly Father hears and answers prayers. There is beauty all around. Reverently and quietly pray. Sunday is special. Do your duties with a heart full of song. My body is a temple. Heavenly Father loves me. I've never seen that before. I love that. Then there's the family of proclamation to the world. I won't read that to you, but you can look it up. The Testimony GL something. I don't know what this is. We've got a prophet at the head of the church, Thomas S. Monson. And we have temples. And Jesus, Joseph Smith was a prophet. Jesus Christ lives. No, what's that? It's not Jesus Christ, is it? Jesus Christ lives. So these are the five things that a testimony is. I know Jesus Christ lives. I know we have a prophet on the earth today. I know we have temples where we can be sealed together for time and for all eternity. Joseph Smith was a prophet. I'm not sure what this is about. Oh, look at that. Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. I looked out the window and what did I see? Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. This is our first presidency. If it was the Catholic Church, he would be the Pope, President Monson. And President Uchtdorf and President Eyring. Eyring. I really love President Eyring. He's my favorite. E-Y-R-I-N-G. If you ever want to read something he's, he's said, you just look him up. President Henry B. Eyring. 
My gospel standards. I will follow Heavenly Father's plan for me. I will remember my baptismal cousin and listen to the Holy Ghost. I will choose the right. I know I can repent when I make a mistake. I will be honest with Heavenly Father, others, and myself. I will use the names of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ reverently. I will not swear or use crude words. I will do those things on the Sabbath that will heal, help me feel close to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. I will honor my parents and do my part to strengthen my family. I will keep my mind and body sacred and pure and will not partake of things that are harmful to me. I will dress modestly and show respect for Heavenly Father and myself. I will only read and watch things that are pleasing to Heavenly Father. I will only listen to music that is pleasing to Heavenly Father. I will seek good friends and treat others kindly. I will live now to be worthy to go to the temple to do my part to have an eternal family. I am a child of God. I love Heavenly. F I know Heavenly Father loves me, and I love Him. I can pray to Heavenly Father any time, anywhere. I am trying to remember and follow Jesus Christ. I should point out to you that not all Mormons, not all members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, may enter the temple, just like people that are not members may not enter the temple. Only if we, if we live to be worthy to go to the temple. There are rules associated with certain places, all kinds of places on the earth. Like you're not allowed to go in the principal's office unless you have a key, right? You're not allowed to go in the employees only section of a store unless you're an employee you're not allowed to drive the fire trucks unless you're a fireman that has a license you're not allowed to drive a car unless you have a license and you're not allowed to go into the temple unless you're living worthy unless you're keeping the commandments and living worthily this is where I was married Willem and I were married in the that's the Washington temple I'm gonna go there with Esther tomorrow we're going to go to the Washington Temple. I haven't been there for a long time. You know, my most favorite thing to do is to be in the temple. Like, if I have a holiday and I, I could do anything in the world for a week, I would go and be in the temple and listen and learn and be filled. It's like living in a cloud, a beautiful cloud. My One of my things that I think is that you should wear rose-colored glasses. <laughs> well, it's like it's like this most brilliant put on these brilliant glasses and they just the spirit goes right through you anyway so that's the Washington temple where we were married and Moroni's on the top of every temple because he was the one the angel that brought the Book of Mormon showed Joseph Smith where the golden plates were hidden and Moroni restored the gospel a second time. There are many plain and precious parts of the gospel that were lost and so it had to be restored. And that has now been done. Wow, this is such a cool place. That's the Salt Lake Salt Lake City Temple. It took them 40 years to construct that temple. They started to construct it and then the anti-Mormons came around and they thought that the saints were building were, were at war or, or something and so they they ended up covering up the entire foundation of the temple, which had taken them so much work and effort. These people that didn't have um, means of transportation we have now. And they covered the temple foundation up and it broke somehow. I guess the horses were all running around in there. And it, like the cavalry or somebody that thought the Mormons were should be slain. And it broke it. And then instead of continuing to go to the quarry and dig out, cut out these big huge stones, I mean that's, those are big stones that this temple is made of, they were told that they should help work on the railroad and so they worked on the railroad which helped make it so much easier for bringing the stones to build the temple. So it took them 40 years to construct this temple which is a lot taller than what you see there, it goes down to here somewhere. Anyway, so this is what the ch children learn at church. Faithful and true, he will enter his kingdom. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Faithful and true. You need to be faithful and true. It's not enough to believe in God and to love Jesus Christ. So, 
so we have our Book of Mormon and the Doctrine and Covenants, which is the revelations that were given in Joseph Smith's time and onward. And we have the Bible, and they are together our scriptures. That's why we don't just talk about the Bible. We have both. I'm really giving you an earful here. I hope this is okay. I mean, you are free at any time to turn this off and not be interested in it anymore. So that was the primary room. So you've now seen the primary room, the chapel, the Relief Society room, and where Esther is cleaning the bathrooms and you can't look at her. And the foyer. So now you know a little more than you knew before. This is this little tiny church, so it doesn't matter how big our chapels are. Everything in our church is the same all over the world. We do the same thing every Sunday, everywhere. We do the same lessons. We do the same. It's all over the world. And we have general conferences where we learn the same things, like it's given from the, the prophet and the apostles and the general authorities. They give talks. And all people in the world hear the same talks. So we don't slide away where some people believe one thing and some people believe another. But of course you know about those apostate groups. There are apostate Mormons that do things like polygamy and things like that. So there are apostate groups. But the church itself... The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is all exactly the same anywhere. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.